Hi everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerds UK and today I am back with days 17 and 18 and a little bonus one as well for um, for this spread. So I'm keeping this one nice and simple. Um, for day 17 and 18 I had a page protector in there to use and I have gone ahead and printed my photos and also printed my journaling onto the journaling card. Now I had a little bit of a disaster with the journaling card. Um, the 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 when I stuck the cards so how I do that is I print off I get myself a little template of um the journaling card and I figure out how far down my journaling needs to be and then that's when I add my journaling I print it off on plain paper I stick my journaling card back onto that over it um, and then I run it through the printer again and it prints my journaling but um when I turned off the borders for the text box um, before I printed it, it shifted the journaling and so when it printed, it printed slightly off the edge of the journaling card. So um, it did annoy me, but I don't have any more of these and so I'm just going to have to go with it. I've lost a couple of letters on the end of some of the words, um, but you can still read what it says. So I'm calling it done. I'm not worrying about it. So this little card here, um, it had time, date and place on um, and so I've just used some washi tape to cover up. Um, the bottom bit that had the um, date and place on and I'm not worrying about the bit that says time underneath my 17 where I've placed the number and then I just added a little chipboard uh, piece on there as well. So next up I'm working on um, the top card that says holiday cheer and these are all from the Paisley Press kit from Ali Edwards and um, I'm just going to add a couple of decorations on. I like um, the fact that we had in the product play workshop, we were focusing on um, triangles this year. So um, a lot of the um, the layouts, the spreads that I do, I try and incorporate a triangle theme if I can. So here I've just added in a tiny word sticker and a star and that's given me a triangle formation. I'm going to leave the photographs um, on that side um, unembellished. They're absolutely fine as they are. And next up, I'm going to be working on day number day number 18, <clears throat> although I'd convinced myself that this was day 17 um, when I was doing it. And you'll see what happens in a second where I add the wrong number. So I'm adding one of these chipboard stars and that is from the star kit. And um, although it's not the same red as the red in the um, journaling card, I... I'm totally fine with it. I'm going to go with it. So I'm just adding in a couple of ticks to that journaling card there um, and calling that good. I do go back and add another little um, star onto that card um, in a little while when I pull out some gold thickers. So next up onto the um, filler card here. Again, I'm going to go with the um, triangular theme. So I'm just trimming down some of that white area on the tiny word sticker. Um, and that's going to go on to the bottom of um, or just underneath the sentiment of oh what fun and then again just a little star keeping that same theme throughout um, the album of the almost triangle shape and this is where I mess up so I was convinced that I was working on day 17 so I end up sticking this down <clears throat> and I do come back and fix it with an 8 instead now these are just die cut vellum numbers and you can see there that you can see the um, tape straight through which is an absolute disaster. So um, I then get um, inventive with some embellishments to cover up a lot of that tape. So first of all on the number one I use this um, little black banner piece from the Hey Santa sticker sheet that says so magical and I'm okay that I've put my numbers over my photo because um, there's not any detail in the photo it's just telling the story of how um, every year my last day at work I always um, when I get in the car to drive home I always have driving home for Christmas on and in my journaling I say that um, the most spoken phrase in December is and I can't say it too loud because I'll set her off but it's Alexa skip um, because every time that song came on the playlist I wouldn't listen to it because I know that I reserve that song for the last day of work um, and since I have been working from home permanently um, since March then um, the actual drive home never happened so 
um, the my last day of work, I um, put my out of office on at 4.30 and at 4.35 I jumped in the car and I drove around the block to be able to listen to driving home for Christmas. So I still made my tradition of that happening. Um, still this year, I managed to do that um, just in a slightly slightly different a different way to how I'd normally do it and this is where I realized actually this should be day 18 not 17 and so I come back in with um, another vellum uh, number to replace that seven and I'm going to have that interacting with the um, edge of the photo so I'm just going to trim that off and then pop these gold um, stars back down on top and that's covered up most of the uh, most of the tape there there's a little you can still see a little bit but I'm okay with that so that is day number 18 um, in the bag and then this is the bonus one so um, I had this already pre-made in my album for um, to document my um, Christmas music and I just did a screenshot of um, I listen to music on um, I have Amazon music and I just did a screenshot of my most recently played um, songs and I'm just adding that onto the back now this is a bit of an odd shaped cut file so I'm going to have to trim around the um, the actual photo um, in line with the uh, shape of the cut file and um, it looks a bit odd on the back obviously it's a bit of an odd shape but it's okay it's um, it looks better than um, than it would do if I had just left it um, poking out from the other side so I'm going to do, I've done this already in my album um, once or twice already. So I'm just using a page, or once I think, because I've, I've got a square missing. I'm using um, a page protector where I've just cut out um, one of the squares that have all three sides sealed. Um, and I'm going to use this as a little pocket. So um, I've been desperately trying to use up that last pleather piece from the kit and... Um, I think I've tried to put it on every single day um, and it's just not working so um, instead I choose this little house tag from the Hey Santa ephemera pack um, along with this um, holiday cheer banner and that is going to make up my almost mini cluster and I'm going to pop it there um, it's not covering up too much of um, the, the main part of the photo then so I'm going to stick the holiday cheer onto the outside of that pocket and then um, I am going to, this is the first time I think I've done um, any um, actual handwritten journaling in my album. Most of the stuff that I've done so far is just printed journaling um, but I didn't have the time and effort to be able to mess around with this tag to, um, to attempt that so I just did some handwritten journaling. And then I'm going to add some of this gold thread. This is from We Are Memory Keepers um, from the Stitch Happy, Stitch Happy, I think, line. Um, it's designed for their sewing machines, but I use it in my sewing machine, but I equally use it as embellishment as well. Um, and this is a theme that um, can be seen throughout my album where I've used it to add little, um, little bows onto um, some tags um, throughout my days. And then that's just going to get stuck down onto the photo with some um, some red line tape to help it stick. Now you can um, you can fuse if you've got a fuse tool, you could fuse this pocket to um, another pocket as well. So if you're working in a if you're working in the page protectors, um, then I probably would have fused it on um, instead. Um, but again, a time, well, I wasn't working in a page protector at this stage anyway, but um, but time also permitting. So I'm just trying to get through my album, get it sorted, um, get it done and finished um, over the next uh, couple of days. And then there we are. That is now complete. And I think it looks super cute. And that is day 17 and 18 and the little bonus one all complete. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.